What's going on guys and welcome back to LOI TV. Now today we're going to be looking at three things we learned from Stephen Kenny's first ever Irish squad announcement. Now the first thing we learned from Stephen Kenny's press conferences is about the formation that he's going to play with the Ireland squad he has at his disposal. Now in previous videos uh, a few of us have looked at possibly maybe going to like a 3-5-2 or a back 5. Uh, kind of utilising Matt Doherty and Enda Stevens in their um, their best positions where they play for their clubs. But it doesn't look like he's going to do that. Um, he did say that Michael Obafemi missed out on the squad because he's used to playing in a two up front. And he's looking for strikers that can play up there by themselves. So going off that logic you'd imagine he's going to be playing a lone striker. And... Um, playing a four at the back as well so I think that's the first thing we learned from Stephen Kenny which is interesting because I think it was a shock to a lot of people that Michael Obafemi did miss out on the squad I personally was quite surprised I think he probably deserved to be in there over maybe uh, Troy Parrott for example and um, just because I think he's a little bit more ready possibly for the international scene the second thing I believe that we learned is that one of Matt Doherty and Seamus Coleman will uh, miss out on the starting 11 um, and that's just gone off the logic similar to the kind of formation from the first point uh, if there is going to be a back four it's unlikely that they're going to be able to fit two of our best players into the side and it is going to be interesting because personally I think uh, Seamus Coleman is probably one of our best defenders but it's nearly impossible to leave Matt Doherty out of the starting 11 at this stage he's been the best Irish performing player in the Premier League uh, this season he's been absolutely amazing and that is in, in a right wing back kind of uh, position uh, where I think Seamus Coleman's arguably better in a back four than Doherty is that's up for debate but um, yeah I don't know it's just it's, it's a tough one um, but I do believe that it's going to be one or the other in Stephen Kenny's starting lineups and the third thing we learned from Stephen Kenny's press conference is kind of like the structure of his midfield um, obviously Glenn Whelan did miss out on the squad so he's going to look for someone to replace him in that kind of anchor role and it is believed to be James McCarthy is the man he's pinpointed to, to fill that role. I think he's a much better player than Glenn Whelan personally uh, not done a sound harsh or anything but um, he's playing in the Premier League and Glenn Whelan's in League One now um, and his legs were gone Whelan's nearly. James McCarthy can still get around the pitch he's very very good on the ball and um, the inclusion of Harry Arthur as well um, He's very, a big fan of Harry Arthur, he played well for Fulham last season as they got promoted to the Premier League. He's very good on both feet, he's energetic as well. So we could, uh, it could be a struggle for the likes of Jason Malumby to break into the starting lineup. And um, Of course there's still the likes of Jeff Hendrick, Alan Brown and stuff to get in ahead of. Um, so there's going to be a lot of competition for places in the midfield. But I think um, James McCarthy is definitely nailed down for a starting spot. A final point guys, there was no League of Ireland players included in the squad unfortunately I was hoping maybe one or two might make the cut uh, what do you guys think of that let me know in the comments below should a League of Ireland player have been named in the squad uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say and what did you think of the squad as a whole was there some players you think deserve to be uh, in the squad or was there players you think should have missed missed out that actually made it into the squad and stuff like that let me know your general thoughts in the comments below I hope you guys are keeping well make sure to like if you did enjoy share and most importantly subscribe <laughs>